All right, let's continue Yakuza 5. If you're watching us later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Have you been enjoying it so far? I'm trying to remember what happened last time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah, Saitama's kind of had some shit revealed, so. Like, this guy we're with was framed because they wanted to get to him and get him to lash out so he could remain in prison forever. But we foiled that plot. <laughs> and then he found out that Majima died, which I hope isn't true. でも半年前に集団で入所してきたあの国原のグループ。それと共に話し、なぜ囚人を送り込めたとしても、法務省に圧力をかけるような力があるとはとても。ああ、そうだ。もし法務省に手を回すことができるとすれば、そんな組織は2つしか存在しない。1つは関西の大見連合、それにもう1つは。そうか。つま
それだけじゃない今日の午後には新たに100名近くの服役衆が移送されてくる通常では考えられない数字だおそらく何かの目的があって移送されてきた人間に違いない。Yeah, I don't know. This is being weird. それって兄貴を殺すための資格ってことじゃ。事態は我々が考えるより大きくなっているんだ。Uh... このままでは確実に最島。それにこの件に関わったババも殺されることに。Yeah, oh, that might be better. そうなる前に。何としてもこの件。Yeah, okay. I think I fixed it. せけどこないのことを許してる。Do I sound louder? <laughs> Hopefully, not horribly loud. I'm just basing this off the,、uh, the bars. It's good. Alright. What if I talk louder? Does it like peak? Ah! Yeah, I think it overdoes it. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of these audio issues, man. Like, I just can't use the stuff I was using in Windows 10 because it just doesn't work on Windows 11. Oh. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's so frustrating. I'll check it later, but I'm not going to yell in this game, I don't think. Finally, one thing I'll ask you to do. What? If you find a person to find a person... Windows 10. At least Windows 10, I had that solution where I was using this mixer thing to normalize my audio across everything, but now that doesn't work on Windows 11. I tried to fix it, it just it doesn't want to work. So, I'm using OBS filters, which, whilst they do the job, it's not the same. It's okay. Because of the way I record VODs, I can manually adjust this later if I want. I can just. If it's overwhelming, I can reduce either my voice or the game audio. So, I'll fix it after. But I'll trust. That right now, what you're saying, it sounds good. Yeah, it's just this new computer is so nice in so many ways, but if I could change one thing about it, it would be not to have Windows 11. Like, there's just numerous things about Windows 11 that. Just annoys me. The game should be a little lower than the streamer. Yeah, I try to make it like that. I've also got it reducing the volume of the game when I talk, but I think it's just、uh, the ratio wasn't correct. Eventually, I'll get it right. It's just. Yeah. I think it's just when I yell, it's probably not the best.、Uh, I applied a limiter now, though, so if I go, ah! Oh, that's better. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't go fully red. Okay. <laughs> that's how I test my mic. I have to go, ah! Ah! I feel like an idiot, but. I could see it that time around. That it, it did correctly compress the audio, so. Yeah, I think it's just that. The picture quality of it is something that I've. It's just. It's good now. And I've been messing around with the 4K. So it's like the VODs. From whatever the next game I play, it's gonna be 4K. 
それだけ俺の勝ちやあ来たね How am I locking in your class? It's good Um, the only thing that's annoying is just the bugs. That's all. That's just because it's near. It's closer to the dumpsters. It's, it's, it's just a thing. But that's just the reality of apartments. It's just. The other place was lucky because it was further away. But the pl this place is better. Like, the stream room is bigger. And the bedroom is bigger. And the layout is better. But the living area is smaller, which I guess is fine. Like, I don't mind the living area being smaller. Oh, we're doing the imagination thing again. At least it's hard to imagine this being the second time. Oh, it ain't hard to imagine. Yeah, looking good. So, what's your tall tale today? Well, now that you know I'm a former detective, let me tell you about a big case I broke wide open. Yeah, you want me to pretend to be a cop while behind bars? Odd notion, but I guess it's a change of scenery. Better change my look again. It ain't the right guard for a cop, but... Doesn't matter. Just let me start my story. Alright. It begins in this bar on Lavender Street. Let's go there. The place is called Ambitious. The layout has a lot of safe functionality. Yeah, the other place it had, like, the entry, then the living room and, I guess, kitchen. It's like one room. And then it had this really long corridor, which led to the two rooms, so... It did not get much natural light, whereas in here you kind of enter and it's like... It's a kitchen area and then the living room's in the back, so they're, they're separated. Albeit, like... N I don't know. Like, I feel like it's not as big, but at the same time, it feels like it, there's more space. It's weird. That's what I mean by layout. It's... The kitchen is separate, so it feels like you get more room in the kitchen, but then... Because the living room's more separate, it's like... There's less space for a living room. If that makes sense. But because of the room, more roomy kitchen, it feels better overall. And then it's just, the other rooms are just attached to the main... Main room. So there's no massive hallway. A lot of apartments have open solution. I feel like this is what this is. It's, they're not separated, it's just one big open room. And then you just, it's up to you to divide it however you see fit. Besides, man, what a busy man you are. You're late. Hey, I thought we were working on one of your cases. Well, you see, on this particular night, I had an after-hours date with my beloved Kaguya-chan. Together, we walked to Ambitious, a local bar. You like the defined zones, like a half wall. Yeah, this doesn't have a half wall. Ooh, they have darts and a pool table. Care to play, I think I'd prove quite the challenge for you. I'm pretty good at these games. Sure. Darts. Let's play darts, but I'll tell you right now, I won't be taking it easy on ya. Heh <laughs> neither will I take it easy on you. Um, just that one. It's the one I know. But I think the, the biggest positive is just the natural light this place gets. Particularly in the bedroom. The other place, man, the bedroom was just... It was a cave. Here, I wake up, sun creeps in. 
It definitely affects mood overall. Forgot how to throw. Oh, it's like this. That's better. I like it. It's, it was still a hassle. But, you know, the alternative would have been doing nothing. And then having to look for a place now, which would have been stressful. Oh damn, she's really good. There we go. Also, new place is a clean slate to start over. Yeah. I mean, one thing I did with the move was get rid of a bunch of things that I don't use anymore. Um. Oh, damn. There we go. But also, you know... I got some new stuff from Ikea, so just better organization stuff. Because before I had a massive TV unit for the living room, and it just it was too big. Like, it had all these drawers, and it's just like, well, I don't really have DVDs that much, so... It felt wrong. So I decided to, uh, get rid of it and get a smaller one. Damn it, it's a seven, but that's more manageable. And then for the bedroom, I got a smaller TV unit. Pretty slim profile, because before I had my TV for the bedroom on a chest of drawers, which wasn't ideal. So I got a smaller chest of drawers, a thinner TV unit, and then I... Also, yeah, I'm using that TV unit to store, like, linens in there, because there's not really a lot of cabinets. And yeah, it works really nice. And then I replaced my mattress as well, because the mattress was old. So I got a new mattress as well. Sajma son, you're rather good at this game. I'm impressed. My old chest of drawers was like probably the last piece of teenage me that I owned. <laughs> so now like everything is adult me. Why do you sound so surprised? Ah, oh, Sajma, I mean I enjoyed a pleasant rendezvous with the lovely Kaguya chan. You bought a new one a year ago, it does wonders. It does, yeah. It makes a big difference. Don't pop up like that, you startled me. But I have to reveal the true purpose of my visit to this place. Huh? What's that? Go ahead and sneak a quick peek at that counter, my friend. I think the next thing I need to do is just get new kitchen stuff. So, like, I need knives and... Maybe, like, a pan or two. Who are they? And then also just start clearing some older clothing and just get newer clothes. Some of that clothing I could probably get rid of. But I did condense my clothing a lot. I got rid of a bunch of stuff. It's just more now. Well, get rid of more and actually get new clothing. The Chinese Mafia, my prefecture, was keeping tabs on them. An informant had just tipped us off about... A weapons deal going down. Look at them. The audacity of these guys. This bar was under Kita Kitakata protection. And yet here we are, talking business in it. So you see, my date was just a cover. It allowed me to observe them off close. Why not just partner with a lady cop? Be easier. I needed to look... It needed to look real. Those guys aren't that dumb. Anyways, after a bit, they left. So I bravely went after them. Is something wrong, Sajima son? Huh? N no, it's nothing. Just get in late, that's all. Let's call it a night. Of course.
You have so much old stuff that you never use. Plan to just go through it and give it to whatever. Oh, whatever's good to charity. That's what I did. So long, Sajima san. Hope to see you at the club again. Uh huh. See ya. After seeing Kaguya chan off, I began my pursuit of the mob. Oh, by the way, feel free to wander around. This is your imagination, after all. The car no, we we're not doing karaoke tonight. The mobsters were headed to Ramen Village on East Nakatsuki Street. If you want to chase them, go that way. Got it. No karaoke tonight. Yeah, as much as of a hassle as the move was, it definitely helped with a little bit of a mental reset. Like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, COVID just messed me up a little bit. At some point while I was chasing the mafia, I entered an intersection. Suddenly! You did exactly what I did. I, too, deftly step sidestepped their insidious car attack. And I knew my near-death experience wasn't a coincidence. And they were aware of my tailing them. But still, I refused to be intimidated, for I was an officer of the law. I resolved to protect my, the town and bring honor to my proud and noble profession. What? You busted for corruption? Ouch, that's a sore point, boss. Come on, let's keep after those mobsters. <laughs> like that fresh chance, another chance to be better. Yeah. I mean, for me... Uh, I don't talk too much about my personal life, it's more just... 2019, I was trying to do better by myself. And then... 2020 came around the corner and just kinda everything got shut down and just couldn't do anything. And initially it was fine, but because of the length of the lockdowns here, like, it was tough. And even in 2022 when, you know, the lockdowns weren't really a thing. It's still... There was this paranoia where... I just felt like it could be just taken away again. Because it just kept coming up in the news and it was just... Man. So this year... I think for the first time... Feeling a bit more comfortable and not... Stressing that things were going to go back to the way they were in 2020. It was like around the middle of the year. Okay, yep, they were well aware of being tailed. So what'd you do? You really need to ask? I fought him to protect the town. Huh, what a load. But fine, let's do this. I think 2020 the Aftershock did a number of most of us, yeah. I guess that's the one silver lining is like, it affected pretty much all of us. So, I mean, yeah, the move just, I guess, got me doing shit. Kind of a, a little bit of a kick to the stomach to wake me up, so to speak. Because I had to I had to organize that shit quickly, and then after I found the place, moving into it happened pretty quickly as well. And... No. I had to move stuff, and I guess I got more exercise, and I've been doing a bit better, like, in that regard. 
going on more walks and stuff. And it's a bit like how it was in 2019, but, you know, i got a, a long way to go. So, once again, I saved the town from peril. Applause, please. Mighty heroic, yeah, but come on. All this talk of being a former detective. It's all a pack of lies, right? I would never. How can you accuse me of such a thing? Huh. Whatever, man. What was that? Nothing. This was fun. I think that's enough, though. Alrighty. Feels slightly cathartic to be able to start over a little. Yeah. I mean, I know, like, the move isn't. Like, everything's changed and everything's different, but it's. It's enough to. Be a start. Oya san no itta tori s ne. Demo, maji de samishiku narimasu ne. Ma na. Son na koto yori. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how next year goes. I've been thinking about it more and more. Oh no, they got him. Their only ally in in the prison. Shit. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought he died, no, he didn't. だからどうにかして自力で逃げ。オッケー。大阪。大阪。ああ、でサイカー。どこに行くつもりだ、サイジマ。国原。お前。てめえに逃げられちまったら、せっかく呼び寄せた兵隊たち無駄になっちまうじ
その代わりこの世には死ぬより辛い生き方があるちゅうことをその体に教えたるわ生き残ったこと後悔させたるお前らが死ぬ瞬間までずっとなうわ<音声> Okay, here we go. Let's help over there. Give help, please, thank you. I think above else I'm like all else I'm looking forward to just the race the mental reset of not having to work it's just not that my job is stressful it's just more it gives me more chance to kind of just take time and reflect on shit They're giving me more ointment. <laughs> really not putting up a fight. Oh, okay. Holy crap. Good. That's why Sajim is fun. <laughs> juggernaut character. Stop it! That other guy fights pretty well. You gotta hurry to the southwest gate, Baba Chan. Okay. Alright. The exit's right over there. Better make a run for it before someone comes after me. Someone's gonna arrive just as I get there. Ow. Oh. Oh, now these guys are blocking way more. Alright, weapon. Come here. One of you will be my weapon. Hey, you won't pick him up. <laughs> Leave Baba alone! Oh, 
Hey, start. How's the game going? It's going all right. I'm not dying. It's good. Um, playing as the second character in this game now, so it's like the guys in jail and his best friend supposedly got murdered on the outside, so he's upset. This seems like a fair fight. Ah, they're minions. <laughs> in the previous game. This guy was in jail, and one of the... the guards... oh my god. We had to fight him three times, and every time he looked like he was gonna die, he just comes back. And just... I feel like I was there for 40 minutes. Oh, it's tap. Crap. Oh, damn. Thankfully there hasn't been anything like that. Oh yeah, this guy's a beast. Oh no, it's a psycho. How was your day anyway, Star? <laughs> was it okay you basically finished LEGO Fortnite? Oh really? Did you stream? I may have missed the notification. Oh no, I feel... please, hang on. Um... Increase... let's just increase health. I suppose I should probably... Do soul. Didn't stream as you figured people were getting bored of it, really? What makes you say that? I need to take out his minions, otherwise it's going to be annoying. Stop! Less and less people coming by and chatting. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, sometimes it's just, I don't know. There are people... That will be chatty some days, and then other days are just kind of lurk and chill. But for what it's worth, like, I'm not into Fortnite. I don't really play Fortnite. Uh, very minimal interest in it, to be honest. But I did find it entertaining to watch you do things in it, so... It's just, it's stream whatever makes you happy. It's like, sometimes people will be interested and sometimes people aren't. It's just, yeah. There are nights where it's not necessarily what you're playing, it's just people doing things or maybe... Uh, it's just someone else is doing something and maybe they want to watch that person. Because viewers follow a lot of people, and it's just... Sometimes it's just a case of that, it's, you know. Got nothing to do with what you're doing. It's just... That stuff happens. Like with this game, I get nights where... 
there are a lot of people and they're really enjoying it. And then there are nights where it's like very quiet and I'm just talking to myself. But I know there are people there watching. Not that many, but... I still play this because I enjoy these games. Just because it's like, yeah. It tells a serious story and then there's just absolute madness in the mini games and side stories. Oh, man. Alright, the context here is this psycho, like, has been torturing this character the entire time because he got paid to make sure that he stays in jail. And he was being completely, like, pacifist until he attacked this, this kid um, who got mixed up in some bad shit and ended up in jail, but he's trying to be good. And they basically, he ruined his chance to get out. And so, they pinned, like, an attack on him, and they were going to completely ruin his life. So he got super pissed, just, like, more mad at himself, because he knew he could stop this guy. Like, he could have beat the living crap out of him, but he didn't want to. He was being pacifist and thinking of just, you know, being good and being able to just leave prison as soon as possible. Hey. This is this is definitely deserve its comeuppance. I mean, in case I don't know, the scar on his the left side of his face wasn't obvious. <laughs> Bit of a psycho. Oh, shit. <laughs> this guy's like... ...an ex-cop. Himura-san! <laughs> This guy tells a lot of stories, so people thought he was talking shit. I guess he wasn't. I mean, if you want to find something else to be obsessed with... Um... Have you ever played Terraria? Because if you like that base building and survival shit, that's a good game. I don't know if they have their major patch. They have this new patch that's dropping for it soon. Didn't dig it as much as the other games. Fair enough. It's a lot better in a group. Like, the first time playing it can be a bit jarring because figuring out what to do. It's probably one of the weakest thing of the game is they don't explain a whole lot. You have to refer to the wiki quite a bit. But... <laughs> once you get past that, it's a lot of fun. You're playing with a few other people who are familiar to help. Okay, cool. Oh, if you like that Animal Crossing game... That I was playing. There's a one that's an early access that is supposed to be very similar. I haven't tried it. I own it, but um, it's called Dinkum, but it's modeled after Animal Crossing. It's for PC. I've heard really good things. I got it when it was on sale, but I haven't tried it yet. But if like, wait, I'm on a I'm on a snowmobile. Hold on. 
It doesn't involve cute animals, but it's like conceptually the same. Oh man, this is so blurry. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna kill them both. Hmm? I'm trying to think what else I've been playing. I've been playing Baldur's Gate with a friend. But we haven't played it in a while, just because... The times haven't overlapped lately. Baldur's Gate 3 is pretty fun. If you're into RPGs. Recent review taught me more about Australia than dating an Australian for four years. <laughs> that depends on the Aussie. So, like, I call myself Australian, but I'm, I'm not really. In terms of Australia, I guess classifying stereotypicalness, not up there. My accent isn't nasally enough. But also, I don't enjoy sports. <laughs> How do I fight back? There's no button to fight back. I guess that they're dumb, they don't slide. Oh, you know, if you enjoy this series and you want to get obsessed with this series, Now's the best time to get into it because every single game is available to play, like the entire series, including the prequel. Because they've uh, remastered and ported them over. I think you have one of them. My recommendation would be to start with um, Zero, which is like. It's one of the later games that has the modern mechanics, but the story is at the very start. It's like a prequel to the first game, and the continuity is very good. You have Like a Dragon. Like a Dragon is, um, I believe, the seventh game. So it's when a new character becomes the main character. And they change the gameplay up quite a bit. If you have Game Pass, I believe like the other ones are on there. Do you need to play the other ones to have fun with it? I mean, the story with Like a Dragon is probably isolated. I haven't played it, but like, because it introduces a whole new character, I think the story is isolated enough that it's his own arc. Um, but that being said, they'll probably make references to all the games. They usually do. I think you'll enjoy it either way. It's probably a whole new story arc, but it'll probably make references to characters from the previous games. That's all. Actually, I have the box here. Let me look. <laughs> Mama! Like a dragon. Okay. Mama! Yeah, so that's the yeah, so the story is with a new character. I think you'd be able to enjoy it on its own. But if you want to go to the start of like this timeline, um, Yakuza 0 is the one to start with. And it's a great game. Uh oh, is, are we gonna fight a bear? Okay. That's a yes. 
日村の言うてたんよりでかいヤンキーそれでかい Oh my god. Okay, yep. This is what I mean. It's like, you know, you play these games, it's a very serious story about organized crime. And just, you know, one dude trying to be a decent citizen. And then you have moments like these. <laughs> what the? You have moments like these! Or it, it just turns into basically a wrestling game, like... You know, may as well be in a stadium with announcers and just... Be thankful it's not Cocaine Bear. I need to see that movie. It's basically Tekken now. You can play... Certain Sega games at the arcade. I forget which fighting game you could play. I don't think it was Tekken. I think it was Virtua Fighter. You can play that if you want. Okay! <laughs> but, uh, my favorite game in the series is Zero. Like, Zero was just such a good game. The remake of one is good too. Those probably had like peak insanity moments. I don't want to spoil it, but just, even even if I wanted to describe what the fuck happened in some of those side quests, it'd be very difficult to do so. Because even I wasn't sure like what exactly was going on. How about I apply some ointment? Oh, let go! Let go! Damn, should have chosen Jin. I was a street fighter kid. <laughs> I don't know who Jin is. Stop! Oh shit. Please tell me we make friends with the bear. We tame the bear now and we ride him like a battle bear. Like mutual respect now. No? Okay, well. <laughs> Gonna be the savior. I mean, 
Saijim is a pretty big dude. Like, this guy's strong to be able to do that. I hope Barber's okay. Oh, these... The only thing about these games is they just have the worst save UI I've ever seen. Oh, it's saved? Oh, wait, no, it's not. thing to keep in mind is like he still has all those injuries and wounds from the guy torturing him and still was able to fight that bear Please don't be like some delicious noodles or something, I swear. <laughs> I've had ramen twice this week. Okay, I mean that that's just that just looks like a stir fry, that's fine. They saved my ass out there in the wilderness. That's weird. Okay. Why is it only half voice acted? What? What? Did I skip the first voice line? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> ぞ。寝てられへん。おとなしくしているというのがわからないのか。素人が雪山に行っても二重遭難するだけだ。面倒元は困る。そのババという男は私が探しに行く。今面倒ごとは困る言うてやないか。山にいるヒグマが人間の味を覚えてしまうと厄介なことになる。Who <笑> ほんまにあの熊が人を組むか。いや。うん。ま、昔そういう噂もあったということだ。どちらにしてもあんたの仲間が熊の餌になる前に助け出さないと俺は迷惑する。そういうことだ。あんたがここを出て行くのは構わない
can't just sit here, I can check the place out. Oh, it's a hideout. Okay. Who would have thought there'd be a village this deep in the mountains? Damn, it's morning already. How long was I out? Uh, hey, hold on there. Oh, wait, it's reading. I guess it doesn't narrate his inner monologue. I read somewhere that the majority is like, it's pretty split down the middle, but it leans more towards that most people don't have an inner monologue, and I was weirded out by that. It's like, wait, so the people just walk around, there's not a thought running through their heads? It's just, man, it's such a weird concept. I thought it was normal to just have, um, you know, an inner monologue. Have thoughts, think to yourself. But... Yeah, it leans more towards not having one. Yeah, there are people that don't have inner monologues. Okay, yeah, let me look this up. I'll find out the exact stat. So it's like, there's been several studies, but there's, you know, when you combine the studies, it's 30 to 50% of people have an inner monologue. So, you know, at best, it's like half the people, and then the other half don't. Like, it's just silence. I, I don't know how that works. There's a lot of aphantasia of people who are unable to visualize imagery, so if you say blue apple, they can't visualize it. Right, yeah. There's also people that never dream as well. I guess we're warm not to chase after mountain man, huh? Must have been some trouble here. Something to oh, oh it skipped it. Alright, well. So we have There's no side quest here. Okay. You're that guy staying with Okadera son, right? Yeah. Why did you come up to the mountains? You don't look like you came to hunt. Nobody in this village has seen you before either. Uh, I usually hunt in a different area. No kidding. Well, the road is snowed over, so you're stuck here for a while. We don't have a TV. There's no radio reception, and we don't get newspapers. You'll probably be bored out of your skull, but just sit tight. Okay, got it. No TV or newspapers, huh? Lucky for me, the prison breaks probably all over the news. Anta. Oh shit, yeah, that, that's his height. He's almost two meters tall. Should be like, what, 6'5? NBA size. How big was that bear then? Shit. <laughs> if he's that tall. That would have been like a three meter bear. 
I mean, I have no frame of reference because we don't really have bears. I feel like I've seen them at the zoo, but they weren't that big. It was a long time ago, so I don't remember. そう。this is just gonna be a whole arc where we're going to take out this bear. Bitchikushita いきるか死ぬかの瀬戸際だったよ。その犬子供。それ以来だ。奥寺さんがこの集落から孤立するようになったのは毎年冬になると山おろしのことを追いかけて吹雪の強い日に狩りに出かける。他の漁師の都合な
I'll be honest with you. You probably shouldn't get too involved with Okudera. Alright. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to walk up the stairs and just press X. I see. Excuse me for wanting a magical journey where I, like, explore the map. もしかして、あなたが山おろしを見たっていう。ああ。それが、あんたは。私は西名の妻。西名君代表です。西名。ああ。この集落の代表をしとる、またぎのお安さんの。She's <laughs> If I'm gonna read his inner monologue, I should apply like a filter to my microphone so it sounds a little echoey. So then, you know, at the very least, it sounds correct. Like, he has an inner monologue and his inner monologue is some random Australian dude. Or it could be like a TV narrator.数メートル先も見えないような吹雪の日、食料もなしに山に飛び込むのは自殺行為とも言えることでした。それで奥寺藩は食料を探してたんか。ええ、集落を一軒一軒回って頭を下げて、でも誰も流れ物の彼に食料
Yeah, probably. I don't think he'd go further than that, not without a good reason, anyway. Hmm? It's nothing. Like I said, the trailhead area should be enough for you today. The rest of the map's just in case you go back some other time. I recommend you add your own notes, like, about landmarks and stuff. There's no better guide than the one you make yourself. Good point. First things first, look here on the map. That's the trailhead closest to the village. That's where you start ascending. You should take that path when you're coming back as well. The winding blue line is Mato River. Just work your way along it and you won't get lost. Yeah, definitely stay near the river for now. Got it. Appreciate all you've done, Sir Kurai Han. Okay. Jeez. Well, I definitely can't do anything more, so are you planning to leave now, or do you need time to get ready? Go to the mountain. I'm ready to go. Alright, be careful out there, Saijima. Whatever you do, stay near the river. I guess, let's see where this is going. Ugh, this cold is brutal. Even my bones feel frozen. Gotta hurry before I lose too much strength. Oh, crap. If your health gets too low, open the pause menu. Gotta stick to the river for now. Gotta meet up with Okuderahan. Oh, it's like... It's not draining that much. It's a good thing I put the majority of my points into health and tankiness, so... I probably have more health than I should here. Again, I, I can't imagine how this would actually feel like. And for it to get to this state here in Australia, like... There'd be bigger problems in the world. <laughs> Let's put it that way, from a climate perspective. Bear tracks. Pretty close to the village. Whoa, camera, please. Okay, it's just a shrine. Or like, plot twist. Okadera is the bear. It's, we have like a were-bear situation. Blood. Is there a bear attack? Blood trail. Better follow it. That's the thing. I don't know. Like, this could be very serious and it's just... It is what it is. Or it could be just completely fucking absurd. Like, animatronic or a were-bear. Already pretty high in altitude. Where are you, Baba? Oh shit. Oh no, Baba. Baba chan! Okuderhan! Nanishinikita! ババを助けに来たんや。あんた一人に任せておけるわけないからな。うん。あんたも怪我しとるやないか。まさか山おろしにやられたんか。うかつだった。俺も置いてしまったようだな。それよりその男を頼む。わかった。<laughs> I don't know, I'm laughing at this bear now because I'm expecting it to not be real. But this is probably a very serious moment that I shouldn't be laughing at. お前はその男を早く集落に連れて帰るんだ。
せやけどあんたもその傷余計な心配は無用だもたもたするな一刻を争うぞわかったああ、okay. I thought I, I thought it was gonna be like a race against time scenario, but okay. The sun's set too, I'm getting worried. Hope you're safe and sound. Okuderahan. Bujiataka. Ah, Nantokana. Hakken now so cut the boom, Ante Rijushoda. Daga, Mucha was a senakereba daijo. Shibara can't say any sasset okay. そういえばあのヒグマをどないしたんや仕留めたんかいや吹雪が強くなってきてなあれ以上深追いしたら戻ってこれない状態だったそうか集落の人に聞いたんやけどあんた山下ろしのこととなると人変わるらしいや Come on, what's up? I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. 殺したから責任を持って食べ尽くすそれが狩猟だだが俺にとってあのヒグマは狩るのが目的じゃないほらなんないただの殺戮俺はあのヒグマを殺すために追いかけているんだ思えば人間というのは不思議な生き物だ。Okay. 憎いという理由で人を簡単に殺す。自分が生きるために仕方なくというわけじゃない。だからこそ、それは罪として裁かれるべきことだし、それを償うために刑務所があるんだ。だが、人を殺したことを悔い改め、刑務所を出ていく人間はごくわずかだ。ほとんどのやつは自分がやったことは仕方がないことだと割り切り開き直って生きている殺すというのは食べるためのそして身を守るための殺し以外全てが勝手に、like、殺人者が何を言おうとただの気弁に過ぎないということだ俺が刑務所出てきたこと知っとって説教してんのか。Well, he kind of implied it, didn't say it, but like, the reason he's in jail is because he killed someone, and then his Yakuza family abandoned him and let him rot in prison. But also, Saejima has, like, done that as well. Like, uh, He, his history is when he was younger, he was supposed to murder some higher up. And so, you know, he thought he did it. And he went to jail for it because it looked like the dude was murdered, and he wasn't. He was set up, pretty much, and went to jail for like 15 years. And the entire, the entire time, he was just like. Riddled with guilt. Baba! Aniki! Omae! Mo ugoi te heki nanka! You know, it's soap opera shit. Like, you know, they think they're dead. Eh, nantoka. Saya and his best friend was, like, tortured in the meantime, so there was that too. Sumose, Aniki. Ashi hipparu yona koto になってしまって Ore no koto wa ee. Sore yori. Omae o taskete kureta hito ni lei o yuun yuna. そうなんですか一体誰に奥寺藩中漁師のおっちゃんや
ここは山の中にある漁師の集落へそうだったんですかまだ完全に回復しとらんあまり喋らん方がいい今はゆっくり休みはい迷惑かけてすんませんお前が話してもらえないのかなあなたは何を言うのか。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、Mark, mark my words, this story will take a sharp left turn into weird at some point. What are you doing with that shovel? Huh? Oh, I was going to dig up some meat I buried here last fall. You buried some meat? Yes, the ground acts as a natural freezer so the meat can stay there all winter without spoiling. We store food this way for emergencies. Alright, uh. So if you're digging it up, does. That mean there's an emergency? I suppose you could call it that. So she shared food with me when they were already running low. Is your husband out hunting? I saw some deer on the mountain yesterday. No, because Okudera san left on a hunt this morning. While he's out there, none of the others will go. Why is that? They say that Yamaroshi is more likely. Yama Orashi, sorry, is more likely to attack when Okudera san's scent is in the air, just like that day nine years ago. So, your husband stays at home, afraid to hunt, and then makes you come out here and dig up meat? Huh? Oh, no, no. It's not like that. I just thought today was a good day to do this. Hmm? Oh, here it is! This meat from last fall has more fat on it than the meat hunted at other times of the year. Interesting. Yeah, for you. Uh, why for me? You're going after Okadera san again, aren't you? Sure, might be, but. Well, better safe than sorry. But, ain't you in need of this food? Yes, but I can't turn my back on someone determined to go to the mountain in this blizzard. If it makes you feel any better about it, come back and share food with me if you happen to gather any while you're on the mountain. I will. That's a promise. In the past, we all used to help each other out like this. That's the kind of village I remember, at least. Please, be careful out there. I didn't need it last time. Like, I, I just have natural tankiness. Think I'm gonna go into the wild. You're going after Okadera san, aren't you? Yeah. But also, I'm gonna start hunting on my own. Wow, really? Nishina's wife was kind enough to share some food. I'm gonna repay her by catching some wild game. Good luck! Hey. If you wanna be helpful, you got a gun I can borrow? Ha! <laughs> Before that, there's your clothes to deal with. You can't hunt wearing that. Every animal's gonna see you from a mile away. Well, what should I do? Hmm. I might have something in storage if you don't mind it being old. You won't look stylish, that's for sure. That don't matter. Be great if I could borrow it. Sure. That just leaves the gun. You got anything? Yeah. Much as I'd like to help you, I only have one rifle and I'm a hunter. We never allow ourselves to be without a gun. Hey. I seem to remember Nishina san having an extra one, though. That's so. But who knows if he'd let you borrow it. His wife would be okay with it, but as for him? Well, he's not on great terms with Okadera san right now. Only one way to find out. True, go ask him. And in the meantime, I'll look for your clothes. Got it. Probably up the stairs, right? Huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep upgrading health if, like, it's gonna keep draining health. Well, it's marked pink here. What? 
<laughs> what is this? There's no mu- uh, Do I just have to discover who this guy is? Okay, well. It's not this guy. Hey, did you hear? Look at there is Hunt. Yamarashi finally got him, huh? Yeah, probably. You gotta be kidding me. That man-eating bear's back? Somebody's gotta make Okadera stop provoking it. It's not him. Oh, here we go. More trouble that damn Okadera! Honey? Sorry to intrude, but I got a favor to ask. You still here? Didn't I tell you to get lost? Honey, really? What do you want? If it's food, we're already short. Find your own. I know you are. That's why I want to borrow a gun. Huh? I know I'm an outsider, but I feel indebted to Okadarahan for saving me. And also to you and your wife. I owe something to the whole village, really. So? I also know I'm an amateur, but I just can't take being a burden on you any longer. Please, let me hunt. At the same time, I can protect Okadera Han from Yama Oroshi. Please. Forget it. Darling. The mountains are a far harsher place than you realize, Sajima. Even veteran hunters lose their way in a storm like this. I'm not going to. See, you don't get it. Or your ego is just huge. If our best trackers have gotten lost chasing quarry into the wild, what makes you think you can do it? I do know the dangers, Nishina, it's just... You know you might- oh wait. <laughs> you might know them, but you don't understand them. How could you? You weren't here nine years ago. Forget about boring a gun. Go home and wait for your buddy, Okadera, to come back from his wild goose chase. I'm so sorry. Don't be. My fault for not thinking this out. He's just afraid that what happened nine years ago will happen again. Yeah, when Yama Oroshi attacked the village. Yeah, it's not just that. What scares us most is the possibility of death. But Sakurai's son, Ohan, said no one died nine years ago. Well, that's... What are you prating on about? For goodness sake, we don't tell outsiders anything. Saejima, if you have no business here, then scram. Our lives are hard enough without you bothering us. Alright. Again, probably a very serious story, or like, the bear is an animatronic, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> Something's gotta give. How'd it go? Did he lend you your gun? Nah, got turned down. Thought so. Honestly, you should just give up. But since I know you won't... Oh, he's gonna give me the gun anyway? Okay. Simple cold wear. Horizontal double rifle. Where'd you get this gun? And Nishina san dropped it off, actually. He doesn't want to lend you a rifle, but he wants you going up there unarmed even less. What's his deal, anyway? It's not your concern right now. So, are you gonna do what you said you'd do and go to the mountain? Yep. Yep, mm, heading out. When heading to the mountain, you get a special snow gear bag that holds gear and supplies specifically for that trip. Check the equipment screen. To bring an item with you to the mountain, move it into the snow gear bag. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is going to be a mini game. Uh oh.
it's all question mark. Oh, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Apparently, I can't br I can't bring ointment to the mountain. <laughs> Not allowed. There's been a ban on ointment for years. What are you doing with the ointment, Saijima? Why are you bringing ointment to the mountain? Shut up. Okay. Okay, you take care out there. Yeah, yeah. Well. I guess if this is going to lead into something ridiculous, it's going to happen now. Just... If DMCA wasn't a thing, I'd queue up Looney Tunes music right now. Like, just whatever plays during Alma Fudd cartoons. Hi, Jimmo. What are you doing here? Came to tell you that Baba-chan woke up. Also, I can't stand being a burden on you anymore. I want to try hunting my own food, at least. And I gotta repay the person who shared her food with me. Even when she don't have much for herself. Where'd get up? That gun. Where'd you get them? Please don't tell me you stole them. No, it's all legit. I pled my case to some kindly folks, and they let me borrow this stuff. A lot, a lot of kind of people in this village, actually. Why don't you try befriending them sometime? Hmm. It's not... It's none of your business. Okay, that's fine, Okidarahan. But I still want to hunt. Can you teach me the basics? Fine, I'll do it. My life will be easier when you're not just another mouth to feed anyway. Great. Okay, the basics. Wait, you guys literally see a blue apple when you get that prompt. I mean, I can visualize a blue apple, yeah. Okay. Listen, if you're serious about learning to hunt and trap. Today, I'll teach you how to use your rifle. To shoot game? Yes, now, usually after shoot a shooting session, a gun needs to be properly clean and serviced. But that's an involved process, I don't feel like teaching it to you, frankly. I'll just clean it myself whenever you get back from the mountain. That way, you only have to carry it when you're hunting. Less tedium for both of us. Sure. Less tedium and less work for me. Exactly. Now, obviously you can't shoot accurately if you're too far away. If you spot game, you have to approach it without letting it see you. The key is to make yourself small and quiet. You just crouch down and creep forward. Try it. Oh boy. I am terrible at stealth, so... You know what an apple looks like in the color blue, but you don't actually see a blue apple in your mind. Am I sure I'm not hallucinating? No, I mean... You know, for work... It's like, if I have to design something, I have a picture in my head. I know what it's gonna look like. It's... It might sound weird, but like, I can... Visualize shit. And it's the same when I'm playing Animal Crossing. Like, I have an idea in my head. And I can place elements around and just have an idea of what it's going to look like. Loosely. And then I test it. And then I can... That picture kind of gets clearer. When I start laying it out, I'm like, oh, okay, yep. So it's like... It's kind of correct? I don't know. The blue apple would be, I would visualize what I think a blue apple would look like, and then if I was to see an apple that was blue, that picture would then be refined. Okay. Good. Crouching makes you less noticeable so that you can get as close to the animal as possible. Of course, sometimes it's better to just stay still, get low, and wait for a good shot. Alright, why don't you load your weapon? The same procedure as when you reload it after shooting around. Press R2 to reload. 
the rifle rifle is empty, you can reload by pressing square or by pressing R1 while holding L1. Press R2 to reload. If it's empty, you can reload. Like, what? R2 is reload, but then if it's empty, I can reload by pressing square. Why is it saying there's two buttons for reload? Why isn't it just R2? Am, am I misinterpreting this? Press R2 to reload. If the rifle is empty, you can reload by pressing square, or by pressing R1 while holding L1. That seems unnecessarily complicated. That gun can only hold two rounds at a time, so don't waste shots, or your prey will happily escape while you're reloading. Some animals will even retaliate. They'll come right up and attack you, so try not to miss. Aim very carefully before you pull the trigger. Let's see how you shoot. Aim for that boulder over there. Hold L1 to raise the rifle and aim with the right stick. Shoot by... Okay. Seems fine. Not bad, Saejima. You're a natural. So, the principle is to creep up in as close as you can to the prey, aim for its head, and drop it with a single shot. Be wary of bears. If you shoot one and miss, it will definitely come after you, and don't think you can beat one in a fist fight. Now you know the basics of riflery. The rest you'll learn through practice. Let's try deer hunting today. Fine with me. Alright. But let's not just wander around aimlessly. There's a hunting hut on the mountain. Let's head there. A hunting hut? Here's where we are right now on the map. There's actually more than one hunting hut, but the closest one is here. It's a base camp for hunters, perfect for our purposes right now. I can't shoot well with my injury, so you should walk ahead of me. In any case, in case anything surprises us. That seems like a joke. What? The, the reload mechanic? <laughs> uh, I think the sentence was just poorly written. Okay, I can get up now. Um... Yeah, I don't know about the aphantasia thing, Nick, though. I mean, it doesn't make you weird if you can't visualize a blue apple. Maybe I'm the weird one. I mean, again, half the population doesn't have an inner monologue. As a minimum, so it's like... This used to be a hunting hut. I haven't been to this one in a while. Typically use the other ones. But a shame to say it like this. Bears must have knocked it flat. This is Yama Orochi's doing? Who knows? Other bears may not be as strong or as big as he is, but they could still do something like this. Such a shame. But at least it can be fixed with a hut repair kit from the village. If you fix it, it could be used as a hunting hut again. There are a number of flattened huts in the mountain. If fixed with a hut repair kit, the hunting hut will be usable as a checkpoint. If you fail the mission, you can restart at the hunting hut you visited. Rest at the hut to restock your ammunition, just like a hideout at the hut. Yeah, okay. If you come too weak to continue, you can make an emergency return to the village from any hunting hut. However, if you do this, you'll lose all items obtained. Sure. But it ain't like I got the money for buying any hut repair kit. I don't have to wait. That's the way of a hunter's life. He's poor until he catches his prey. Why don't we try to rectify that now? Let's look for some deer. You don't have to convince me. You can you can and should sell items you acquire on the mountain. Your only source of income in the village is what you manage to hunt, trap, and harvest. Man, the gameplay in this is so different. <laughs> like, Kiryu is a taxi driver and Saejima is a hunter. You know what things look like, you just can't make a picture of it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's strange. Okaderahan, what do you make of these tracks? Definitely deer tracks, and they're fresh. The deer are probably close by. Okay. So, follow them? 
Yes, and from here on out, keep the chatter to a minimum. Let's use hand signals. L2 to signal your NPC. There are two commands. Come with me, stay put. Okay, listen. If you spot some deer, approach them from behind carefully. Get as close as possible, then shoot. Got that? Yep. Okay. So, if someone says something, do you get a mental picture? Because, like, when I'm talking about food, I get a mental picture of that food. Like, if I was to say, you know, fried chicken right now, would you visualize fried chicken? I mean, the human brain is, is a freak, so, you know. You remember the fried chicken you had, but you don't visualize it. See, I can visualize it. I visualize, like, the drumstick with coating. And it's like, commercial quality, you know? There they are. Crouch down and sneak closer. Shoot when you're close enough. Experienced hunters aim for the heart, but that's a difficult thing for beginners. For you, it'll be easier to aim for the head. Target the one that presents you with the best shot. You can fell game with just one bullet. And try sneaking up, okay. Go ahead. Now you want chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you know what? The fact that I say chicken once and you want chicken immediately, we're gonna get along. We'll get along just fine, you and me. We are watching Hell's Kitchen, and one of them made some chicken, and the chicken was on screen for maybe two seconds, and I was like, oh, that doesn't look good. Immediately I knew, like, how the chicken would be, and I was right about it. Chicken is the best. I wholeheartedly agree. Very, very versatile, and it's just delicious. Yeah, I was like, that looks overcooked. And, I mean, it was in, like, a sauce or something. It was funny. Look away if you don't like animals being harmed. That is all. Yes, got it. Well done, that's how you hunt. And collect what you can from the kill. I probably should have waited like a few more seconds to pull the trigger. I was like, Hey, if you don't like animals being BANG! <laughs> that's basically what it was. Walk up to the animal you shoot. Okay. Good. You've collected what you can. Don't waste those items. Never forget that you took an animal's life to get them. Yeah, I understand. 
Meat taken from carcasses is precious. And some animal parts can restore health. At the very least, they can fetch good prices. Don't forget to collect them. Always keep an eye on your health. If it drops to zero, all items and mission progress. Gotta give this deer meat to Nasheen as wife. Better put it in my valuables to keep it safe. Ted, do you want to keep hunting or go back to the village? Your call. I'm fine either way. I've got plenty of health. Okay, we can kind of run now. You had problems murdering animals in Minecraft, but you're okay with it now. It took you a while, but they whimper and cry. Oh no. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to handle it in real life, but I draw the distinction in a game. That's like I fucking hate spiders in real life, but then in in games I'm fine with them. I mean, I'm playing guns with a controller, that's just... Deserved? That's fine. Like I said, roll out the Looney Tunes music. What? I'm not moving! <laughs> I wish this had gyro aim, this would be much easier. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> The gun, the gunshot didn't send it. The gunshot didn't send it running, but the reload did. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this is so dumb. The reload scared it, not the, not the shot. Hang on, hang on. I can commando roll. Should have quit while I was ahead. Sorry, I'm going back to the village now. Okay, leave the mountain. You made it back safely. The mountain was kind to you. Tell me when you decide to go hunting again. Until then, I'll hold on to your rifle. Okay? Sure, nice of you. If you collect an item on the mountain and want to use it elsewhere, move it to your inventory. Okay. The teammate for Nishina's wife has automatically moved valuables. All snow gear must be moved to the item box. Move everything to the item box. Oh. Okay, so there is benefits to hunting. Outside of just money. Eh? How'd your hunt go? Thanks to you, I think I can make a go of it. Appreciate your help. In fact, I'd like to repay my debt to you. Here, take this. <laughs> oh wow, you saved some for us? Yeah. 
been, and that doesn't sit well with me. Not sure if that's enough, though. Oh no, this is plenty. Thank you. I guess you'll be going into the wild again? Please be careful. I'll do that. Thanks. Um, I could have just given her the meat she gave me back. Like, I didn't use it. I get it. It's for those that choose not to upgrade tankiness. It will probably be a struggle. But I've played these games enough to know absolutely upgrade your health first. <laughs> you done now? Oh man, this is like a whole arc of hunting. But I guess Kiryu's was like street racing and taxi driving, so... Are all of them gonna get jobs? <laughs> You know, I'm, go I'm gonna joke about this, but like, I feel like one of them's gonna become a real estate agent. Just you wait. I'm calling it now. I'll take one. I don't think I need two. Go to the mountain. Well, like, one of them's gonna manage a club. That's usually a staple of the series. Huh? Didn't know anybody owned trucks here. None of the villagers do. The guy with the truck is a trader who visits... ...who visits us to conduct business. He must be stuck here because of the road closure. We sell him animal skins and meat, and he sells us goods from the city. Even in this place, commerce is everything. Yeah, just like everywhere else. Guess I'll be doing business with him soon myself. So go introduce yourself. I, if you're working, if you're going to be working with somebody, it's always best to know each other's names. Got a minute? Yes, of course. How can I help you? You do business here, don't you? Thought I'd introduce myself since I've just started hunting. Which means I'll be needing your services soon enough. Oh, I see. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was wondering who the muscly new guy was. It's been quite a while since any newcomers were around. Makes sense in a place like this. In a place like this? You know, this mountain is actually pretty famous because of the outstanding quality of animal meats and skins. That so? Oh, yes. The meat is prized at the most high-end restaurants in Tokyo, and the skins trade at high prices in the most luxurious fun stores. I read that as fun stores. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's it's getting getting to the midnight brain. We're almost at midnight brain status. I mean, I assume that's why you were hunting here in the first place. Uh, you might say that. I knew there was choice game, but I didn't know it was that good. That's some of the best around. Heck, ten years ago, hunters would come up here from. All the way from Honshu. I'm not reading correctly. It's not like that anymore, though. Ten years ago? That's when Okadera-han started living in the village right after he was rescued. Still, the primo quality of wild game on this mountain remains unmatched. That's why I still come here to trade. Well, I look forward to doing business with you. You ready to go, Sajima? Yeah, uh, sure. Today I'll show you how to trap small game. It doesn't involve any shooting, so don't worry about your rifle. You have to use different traps for different animals. Today we'll be catching rabbits. For them, we use snares. Got it. Rabbits. Snares. Yeah! You can also catch martens and foxes around here. But we'll save them for another time. Martens? So this is a snare. When the animal steps in it, the wire tightens around its foot. You can use mine today, but remember to bring your own for next time. Appreciate it. 
Traps are reusable, but they can break. Just repair them if that happens. Okay. The key to successful trapping is placement. You have to look for a good trap site. Where do I find those? There are many trap sites on the mountain, but the best ones are wherever there are lots of animal tracks. So find a site, check for the tracks. So I gotta trek around the snow until I find the site. Nobody ever said a hunter's life was easy. Go on now. Lead the way. Alright. This was not what I was expecting to be doing tonight. <laughs> not gonna lie. How good it highlights them. Alright. Sajima san, over there. Hmm? That's a trap site. There are many like it on the mountain. You just have to find them and set up traps on them. Any trap sites you find will automatically be marked on the map. Go ahead and set up a snare. Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's set a snare here. Yes. This'll do. Good. Now that that's done, we should go. Animals won't come near it if there are people around. You should always go somewhere else before looping back to check your traps. You never know what can happen. Game might get snared even while you're walking around other trap sites. Then again, it might not. Set traps at good sites and be patient. Got it. It should go without saying, but make sure you actually collect trap game. We're hunters, not indiscriminate killers. Do you understand that? I do. Any traps you set will appear on the map rec to recover them along with any game that was caught. Simply walk to the trap sites. Use different traps for different game. Find trap sites and set traps up at the points. After a trap is set, leave it alone. Collect. Alright. Why don't we go look for more trap sites? What? <laughs> Back step. Okay. I mean, this is probably a very in-depth sort of side content, but I'm just going to get through it. It appears you're getting the hang of things. Let's look around for the next trap site. By the way, watch your health when you're on the mountain. Everyone keeps saying that, but I'm going to be fine. Look at my health. It's barely made a dent. What? I can't walk up this way? Apparently not. Alright. Oh, right. No need to go deeper into the wild. I see. Tutorial. Whenever you're out, always be wary of bears. Yama Orochi is the obvious danger, but other bears are nothing to be trifled with either. I figured that. That's right, you already know how fearsome they are. Yes, they certainly don't need Yama Orochi's size to satisfy their hunger for human flesh. If you happen upon a bear, you might be tempted to run from it, but that's not the best idea. They will always give chase, and they can outrun any man. You're better off calmly dodging their attacks until they give up, or shooting them, of course. If you're going to shoot, though, 
You should know that your very life depends on dropping it with just one bullet. Nothing is more dangerous than an injured bear. I don't expect you to know where the bear's heart is. Aim for its head. <laughs> I'll remember that. Good. Now then, we've set traps at all the sites in the area. Now we just wait until they are sprung. And you can use any spare traps as you see fit. Got it. So how do I know when they're sprung? I guess we just walk away from them for a while. Oh no, there we go. Right? Now, avert your eyes if... <laughs> oh, it doesn't show it. That's fine. There, we got ourselves a rabbit. See, that's all there is to it. Suit the trap to the game. I gotcha. Well, you're a proper rookie hunter now, so I'll treat you as such. From now on, you do the prep work and hunt your own food. You feel okay with that? Alright with me. Good. Let's make our way down and bring this rabbit to Baba. Fine idea. Of course, there's a bear. That's Roar! Is it Yama or Reishi? Saijima, run. I'll hold him off. What are you talking about? You can't even shoot right now. I'll deal with the beast. Just stick near me while I do. Ah, Listen. You can't outrun or kill him. So don't even try. Just concentrate on fending him off. Fine. Just keep yourself safe, Okudera-han. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, keep- yeah! Ah, uh, well, Oku- Okudera's dead. <laughs> oh my god. okudera -han. I fucked up. Yeah. He's leaving, Nokadera Hana. You're right. <laughs> I'm fine! Why didn't you shoot? Ah! No, you're not fine. This is nothing! Let's get back to the village. <laughs> I didn't shoot. I was trying to line up. To I'm a terrible shot. If this was keyboard and mouse, that bear would be dead. I don't play FPS as a controller, jeez. Where's my gyro aim? Never thought I'd have to be rescued by anyone, I'm getting old. I'm glad you're safe, you're like a mentor to me, Okadera Han. Ha! Huh. Let's eat. Baba must be hungry. Umai! <laughs> I haven't tried, rather. It's been attacked by a bear three times. <laughs> Uh, I love that the bear just completely ignored me. Like, there's, there's gotta be something to this. This bear just keeps attacking this guy. A certain Game of Thrones character comes to mind. Which one? You got special cold wear. I really did nothing. But he claimed to do other things with the bear. Why don't I remember that? <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. 
集落の様子を見に行ってくる雪で塞がっていた道がどうなってるか気になるからなお前たちにはまだこの集落を出てやるべきことがあるんだろうほな俺が行くわ師匠を働かすんはあかんやろそれに奥寺藩もまだ傷が治っとらんはずや少し休んでもらおうな<笑>なら好きにしろ I mean, if I'm being attacked by a bear twice in the last day, he's doing alright. I mean, look at my health bar, like as if that's going to run off. Okay, I can't upgrade my abilities. How's the village? See if they plowed snow. I imagine this is just for plot and then. Eventually, we will be able to just come back here and do hunting whenever we want. Hey, you're that lost fellow Okadera san found. Duram, you want something? Don't know how long you're staying here or why you'd even want to stay long. But there's something you ought to know about our village. Up past here, there's a small shrine. They say it was built at the same time as this village to provide protection. Now, a strange old fellow named Tendo calls it home. You have to watch out for him. How strange are we talking? I'm, I swear, I swear if like this old man is the bear, I'm gonna lose it. Like beyond strange. He looks like a sage out of a storybook and rumor has it he can- uh, Oh my god. <laughs> is it really going to go in this direction? You believe in that stuff? If you're not really scared, then go see him for yourself, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sorcerer in a mountain shrine, huh? Sounds interesting. I'm, gonna, I'm going to go to bed if this old man ends up being the bear. Okay, I guess this is it. This is the shrine the villagers were talking about. Don't see no sage around here. Make an offering from the heart, and the mountain gods will share with you their wisdom. Huh? Who said that? I know I ain't just hearing things. So I'm supposed to make an offering. Question is, what? Boy said something about mountain gods, so maybe they want something natural from the mountains. I should buy some vegetables from the village. I have meat. Oh. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> but I'm here for it. Nishina san still hasn't come back. I should probably accept that Nishina san and Kihachi are both. You know. No, Nishina san would never screw up that bad, and neither would Kihachi. They're alive, I know it. But. Get involved. Something the matter, Sakurai han? Did you hear? One of our hunters, Kihachi, never came down from the mountain. And Nishina san went to find them, but now they're both missing. Anyone aside from the Sheena so oh, anyone aside from the blah blah <laughs> Deeper voice. No, because... Let me guess, people are scared of Yama or Oroshi. Well, they're right to be scared. What about Nishina Han's missus? Do you know about it? Of course, but she acts like nothing's wrong because she's one hell of a strong woman. Hmm. Any idea where the hunter Kahachi was going? No, but I'm sure he wouldn't have gone far. He's not that dumb. Well, that's something. Yeah. And hopefully you're not dumb either. Don't get any ideas about going up that mountain. All we can do now is wait. We shouldn't let the mountain swallow up anyone else. There's wisdom there, but... In any case, I think I'll go see Nishina's wife. Um, hold on. 
Ah, just the man I wanted to see. I heard about how you sent Yama Oroshi running. Pretty impressive. With those kind of hunting skills, I was wondering if I could ask a favor of you. What is it? Well, because of the Yama Oroshi trouble, all the hunters around here are reluctant to hunt on the mountain. Can't blame them with that beast roaming around. Of course, of course, I can certainly understand, but it's made it very difficult for me to source any merchandise. But maybe you, if you go to the mountain, would you be willing to sell me any game you bag? It could be meat, hides, even vegetation. What do you think? Don't get your hopes up. I don't plan on going on any hunting sprees. Oh, I understand. I wasn't asking for any reckless slaughter or anything. I have to maintain a good relationship with this village too, you know? Alright. I'll see what I can do. How much game do you need? Not much. Uh, about a million yen worth. A million yen? I can't imagine what it'd take to equal that. Not as much as you'd think. Don't worry, you'll see what the prices are really like once you bring me a few things. I'm counting on you. Oh, okay. So, can I help you with anything today? Uh, okay. Well, that's, that's nothing. I was expecting it to be way more, but let's just sell everything. I actually have money now. Do you have vegetables? Bear bait, winter provisions. Cold carrot. Okay, I guess we... Yeah. That counts. Um... I have two snares. Hang on. Just want to see what I had. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just want to do the bare minimum of this area, to be honest. That's not as fun as the taxi part. The taxi was, was fun. Carrot. Very well, I shall grace you with the voices of the heavens. Huh? <laughs> Alright, let's see where this goes. <laughs> Who are you? Me? I'm the one they call Tendo. Tendo, huh? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. You definitely got the look of a sage. A sage? Well... I could see how some people might think that. But truth be told, it is not that simple, for I am a being both animate and inanimate. You lost me already. Whatever. Just tell me what you're doing here. Well, you see, this is the dwelling of the mountain gods. These mighty deities are the very creators of this mountain. As for me, I train each day to be able to hear their voices. You can hear what the gods say? Is that even possible? The whispering wind, the babbling brook, the creaking tree. They are all murmurings of the gods. Heed their call and open your mind. Oh, and make an offering to the gods while you're at it. Uh, an offering? What did you expect? The gods don't offer their wisdom for nothing. As you sow, so you shall reap, and all that. Right. I think I got it. Imagine it has power you seek, great strength that will take you to the next level. Strength? What are you talking about? No, no, say no more. I know what is in your heart. Is that right? I will help you hear the voices of the heavens. And in doing so, I just might bring myself one step closer to my own enlightenment. So, let me get this straight. If I make an offering, I can ask you to make me more powerful. Yes, that's the gist of it. You are quite perceptive, I must say. And if I ain't sure what to offer, I can ask you? Just so. Do that and the mountain gods will surely answer your prayers. Can't help but feel like you're taking me for a ride, old man. But what the hell, I'll give it a try. 
Heat actions are not available in training battles. Make sure you are prepared before you begin. Fine. I'll be back after I get some offerings and stuff. Excellent. I'll be waiting. I just gave him a carrot. What do you mean? The mountain bounty dwindles at this time of year, yet sustenance can be had if you look. Well, I do have money, so let's just see what else I can buy. I unlocked the old man with a carrot, so let's just see what else I can get. Hello. Oh, well, there are other... There are these 12 Jizo statues on the mountains. What is this, some kind of ghost story? Oh, no, no, not at all. In fact, I'm talking about beneficial spirits. You see, in the old days, Hunter would pray at a Jizo statue if they happened to come across one. It makes sense that the hunters were superstitious. I mean, the mountain is a, such a dangerous place. But what if it worked? Some people have sworn that the Jizo statues kept them from getting lost in the wild. It ain't hard to understand why folks turn to superstition. Well, if you ask me, can't hurt. If I came across a Jizo statue, I'd pray to it. Why not? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Horse mackerel, shrimp, worm, manila clam, prawn. Okay, um, I don't, I don't know what it wants from me, but let's just... I'll get a prawn, and let's see if it accepts it. so weird. But, ah, oh, it doesn't count. Um, okay. Gotta run some errands. Alright, no worries, Nikto. We'll probably be still playing for a while. Alright, let's talk to the wife. My poor husband. Machina sounds helped me out before. Can't sit by doing squat while she suffers. I'll talk to Okaderahan, and then I'm gonna find her man. White darkness. Well. This is strange, because all these side quests that the sort of serious in turn? I guess the mountain guy is a bit strange, but... All oh, right. How's the village, Sanjima? Go see if they've plowed stone for the row. What is it? It said go talk to him. And then we'd see. I don't think they've plowed snow from the road. I think it's still... I guess this dude. Ah, you're the one staying at Okadera, Sans. Perhaps you've heard. The road is finally open again. But you'll need to watch yourself if you travel on it. People are saying Yama Orochi is nearby. And there are children here. Frightening, isn't it? Um, that's all we had to do, just talk to that guy. Alright, well. And now both quests have opened up. Alright, there we go. How was the 
そうか馬場ももう大丈夫だろうすぐにでも町へ降りるといいせやけど大丈夫なんか山下ろしがまだ山ん中うろついてるんやろそれはこの俺の問題だお前が気にすることじゃない聞いてもいいか何をだあんたが山下ろしを追い続ける理由やそれこそお前が気にせることじゃない<笑> please tell me what's going on with this bear そうかけどいつかは話してもらうであんたと俺は似たところがあるそんな気がするわ<笑>好きにしろこのまま月見の絵急ぐのもいいしなんなら山へ狩りに出てもいいどちらにせよ俺に一声かけろああ、ah. oh, we can progress story or we can Rescue the Lost Hunter. Let's do the, the Lost Hunter thing. The Hutch has gone missing and Nishina san's out looking for him. But Nishina Han ain't been back and nobody else wants to go search for him. Guess I'll do it. You think you know better than these people? They've lived on this mountain for decades. Don't you think they might have a reason for not wanting to go? I hadn't thought of that, but. Of course, I can see you're not one for talking sense. But you really might die. You understand that? Yeah, I do. Well then, go get your gear together. You can use my gun and shells. My only advice is whatever happens out there, stay alert. I mean, I'll give it a go. I'll start with areas I've already visited. Should be signs of them somewhere. Maybe footprints. Oh. Well, I can offer that to the old man, so there we go. The shrine, which is probably the old man. Japanese. Alright, now, now we're getting somewhere. I guess just walk around stuff. Why, why is that battle music? <laughs> uh, why is that battle music right now? Should I be concerned? Now is not the time for praying? Oh, I see. These are the ones I set up before. They're still here. Up again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I'm not I'm not moving. Okay, that'll probably scare things off. Footprints, but from just one person. Must be Nishina Han or Kihachi. Looks like they never found each other. 
I should follow these tracks. Alright, I guess we can move normally now. How gentle do you have to be with this? Could have shot, and I'm being patient. There we go. Waru omoi na ya. But you can melee. I guess if a bear comes at me. No oh, normal traps, alright. Oh, here they are. Who is that? You alright, man? You caught you, Han? Ah, it's... it's you. What are you doing here? Put that out of your mind for now. You've seen Nishina Han anywhere? He came out here looking for you. Yeah. Ah, no, I haven't seen him. Okay. First things first, you need to rescue him. Can you walk? I don't think so. I'm not hurt that bad, I'm just... I'm so cold. He's really weak. Better give him some food. Give him some deer meat. Here, eat this. It'll perk you up. And don't fall asleep. That'll kill you. Hmm. That really helps. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't worry about it. You're in need. Damn. It's turned into a blizzard now. Can't see a thing. This is it. This is how I die. Hey, don't give up. Can't go anywhere in weather like this. I'll get lost. Sakurai Han was right. I was stupid to come up here. Hey, we're gonna ride out this blizzard together. You got that? I'll be right here. Just hang on, Kahachi. Machina Han's out here somewhere looking for you. We gotta put our faith in him now. Okay. Oh man. Let's gonna hunt more. Dude, at least huddle together. Blizzard's still raging like an angry wife with a frying pan. Damn, my arms and legs feel heavy. This could be the end. Can't stay awake. <laughs> Did I die? Basic survival stuff. Yeah, I mean, Sajima is not the sharpest crayon in the box, or the sharpest pencil. Whatever the analogy is. Brightest crayon, sharpest pencil. I think I, like, mixed the two up. You're awake. Look at Darahan. Did he save us again? Don't thank him. Don't thank me. Nashina should be the one you should thank. Didn't mean to be a burden, sorry. He should be. Gihachi was grateful, though. Huh. A silver lining to the fact I couldn't even save myself. Forget silver linings, let it be a lesson. By the way, I've got your gun and shells here. So don't worry about them, just focus on resting up. Alright. <laughs> it's just... You know... The kind of snow I have seen is very basic 
people would laugh at the sort of snow I've experienced. But even I know, for fuck's sake, like, huddle together. <laughs> You know? I feel like it's general knowledge. <laughs> the save screen kills me every time. Okay. Um, so... I mean, I'll try and offer this stuff, let's just see. I'm curious what this mystical old man is gonna do. Sorry I made things worse, Sakurai Han. I got cocky. Thought I could take on the mountain. Mm-hmm. Well, I kind of figured a city dweller wasn't going to take my word seriously. But still, you're something else. You put your life on the line without any hesitation. It's almost like... Like what? Ah, nothing. Just please take care. There's bravery, sure, but then there's recklessness. True. Alright, I'm done lecturing you. There's something else I want to talk to you about. See that man there? Do you know him? Uh-oh. He came here because he heard rumors about a giant bear. Must be Yama- Oh, must be Yama Orochi. Right. And that case on his back, there must be a huge rifle in there. But how did he hear the rumors in the first place when outsiders arrive one after the other like this? Well... We townspeople get wondering why. Look, I don't know the guy. Oh, I see. Well, if he's going after Yama Oreshi, that could be trouble. <laughs> I can't talk to the fishing guy. Martin Thuria? What kind of name is that? <laughs> uh, hey, listen, you got a minute? What do you want? Heard you're going hunting. Is it true? So what if it is? Well, I could... Could I trouble you to trap some martens? Martens? Yeah. They're like weasels. They're my primary source of income because the ones around here have such gorgeous yeah. fur. But it's been so dangerous up there lately and I don't have... A gun, only traps, so it would be suicide for me to go up there. So you want me to get some for you? Sorry, I ain't risking my life for you. But you're going up there anyway, and I'll pay you so handsomely. Please, I'm begging you. Guess I'll nab some if I feel like it. You will? You're a lifesaver. Three pelts is all I need. Thank you so much. Okay. To catch Martins, I'll have to use cage traps. Yeah, I don't know about these hunting quests. I want to go back to the dude that was, like, in the background trying to... You know what, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> it, just, it just sounds bad. Oh wait, I went backwards. But the pervert guy that got his head slammed in a taxi. Okay, so I can give... It seems the mountain gods do not seek that which you offer. No good, huh? Guess I'll try something else. Leave that offering where it is and go. Your gesture will no doubt... Oh, this guy is like 100% eating my food. Yeah, well, they can have it. What an... <laughs> he's scamming people, this is what he's doing. Oh, the th okay. Yep. 
<laughs> it seems the mountain gods do not sync with you, Alpha. No good, huh? <laughs> Let's. I'll leave and I'll come back. What? I betcha he's like just gonna be there sizzling the steak. There was a cat. Oh, but it just. <laughs> I just had to get another carrot, but I, <laughs> I lost the meat. Oh, no. oh hey, Sergeant Masan, right? You and Nishina San saved my life. Thank you. Nah, Nishina Han alone saved you, and he saved me too. I was just a burden no. in the end. But you gave me food and hope. Here, take this. But go on, take it, please. It would make me happy. Oh, all right. Appreciate it. Leg hole trap. All right. I got lucky this time. Be careful out there. Yeah, I will. Oh well. I was wondering if you could help me. What? What do you need? Ah, uh, could I possibly buy a modern pill? Oh crap, another one. In a bind? Kind of. One of my regular customers in Tokyo just sent me an urgent order for a modern pill. If I can't fill it quickly, they're going to stop doing business with me. It's totally unreasonable, but at the same time, it's one of my best customers. So I don't want to lose them. Well, since I need your business myself, I'll see what I can do. Oh, that would be such a big help. Naturally, since it's for such an important customer, I'll have to inspect it carefully before buying. Not that I don't trust you, but just to be safe, please deliver it personally to me, okay? Ah. <sighs> Okay, um, I need to buy something. Okay, um, great for catching martens. Let's get poor. No, oh, damn it. Actually, I should sell the... Oh. So there are certain items that sell for more. Like, look at that. Deer hide. Look at that. Okay, I see how this works. Um. We'll get one of these, and we'll get that. Okay. <laughs> All right. I've given them two pieces of meat and a carrot. What? Fuck. What's wrong? I, I can't. I can't move. <laughs> Hold on, old man. Old man? Alright then. Whoa. He's floating. I am Todoroki, god of this mountain. Todoroki? If it is power you seek, then endure the ordeal I put before you. The hell? Yes. Though I can offer no assurance that you shall survive. But if your heart still beats by the end, new power is what you shall have. Wait, what are you gonna do? The time for talk is over. Let us begin. So, you know, sharp left turn into what the fuck. Oh no, what is this? Oh no! <laughs> oh god, no. Oh, okay. No, hit, hit the old man! Oh god. Oh, 
This wasn't on my list of uh, potential outcomes of this quest. What is he throwing at me? <laughs> is he like Delson? He's shooting fire. I was not ready for this. This is what I mean, it's like, you know, the whole bear plot, it could be that it's just a bear, or it could very well be just something like this, you just don't know. Oh, no, I need to, I need to get rid of these dudes. It's okay, I have heals, I have heals, I have heals. Oh my god, old man! Yamate Kurasai! Okay, uh, items. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh yeah, block. No, yeah, that's... Yep, block my attack. I just, I, I can't keep fighting the clones. The clones, they just keep coming back. I just need to focus the guy. Okay, hold on. I think I have to take him out, because then he summons more and that's my window to attack him. One more, one more! Yeah! Is it over? Ah. You okay, old man? Every bone that this old body aches, what on earth happened? You mean you don't remember? You got possessed by some mountain god named Todoroki. Then said something about an ordeal and attacked me. Is that what happened? The mountain god Todoroki, you say? Old man? To think a god of the mountain would use my body as a vessel? I'm so happy I think I'm going to cry. Hey, cut it out. You're one weird geezer. You know? You know that? Daichima, was it? I wasn't able to speak with the mountain god, but you did, correct? You mean Todoroki? Yeah, I did. Ow. Oh, blessed tears of joy. Will you stop crying already and explain what's going on? You notice anything different? Did the god of the mountain grant you new power? Hmm. Come to think of it. Tiger Iron Hammer. Aha! You did gain a new power. I knew these old eyes did not deceive me. This is the happiest day of my life. Yeah, well, good for you, old man. Come again, Saejima, and bring another offering you are, if you are to speak to the gods once more. Yeah, well this was all kinda creepy, but if it'll make me stronger, I guess it's worth it. I look forward to seeing you again. But I- I put other offerings. Oh. Wait, I can put a trap? I don't want to lose a trap. Let's just forget this for a minute. This is one of these things where it's, hey, put the item, see if it does anything. If it does nothing, bad luck. Okay. 
down. I should probably read the instructions again. It's different. Decide what to cost your line. Yep. As soon as it bobs down, press X. Okay. Well, I have that. You go there. I missed it. Got it. Snakehead. I think I used my bait, right? Alright, I mean, I caught something. I don't know if I should offer it to the Mountain God. I'm kind of afraid to fight that thing again. Unless I can buy some kind of health replenishment. I don't know. Wait, I can't go to the mountain? This is strange. I should see what the stranger wants, I guess. So you're the other stranger in town. What makes you say that? <laughs> you really gotta ask? Take a look in the mirror sometime, buddy. So, are you after this bear too? Yama Orochi. Ha! I knew it. You are here for him. Well, I guess we're rivals. I'm Narumi. You might want to remember my name and face, because they're going to be on the cover of every hunting magazine in Japan. And you are? Daijima. You won't see it anywhere if I'm lucky. Ha oh. <laughs> ha, you're a funny guy, Saijima. Hey, maybe I'll see you on the mountain, yeah? Bring your biggest gun. The third man was added. Now that meathead seemed bent on going up the mountain. Better tell Okadera Han. Oops. Search for Narumi? Okay. Sakurai Han. Oh, Sakurai just told me about an outsider that went up the mountain. It's Narumi. He must have already gone after Yama Oroshi. Him too? Huh. What? You're just gonna ignore him? He'll be back. Not with his quarry, but at least with his life, and we'll be thankful for that much. Hopefully. Guy knows nothing about the mountain, likely to get lost. That's his own damn fault, but I guess it would be bad for the village. Well, then I'll go look for him. I'm well enough. If you think so. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is just emergency stuff, and then I'll take this stuff with me. You can't bring ointment to the mountain, what are you doing? Yes. Um, go to the mountain. Vertical double rifle. Is that an improvement? That can't be good. Was that in the room he's doing? Better hurry. Oh, my health is low. It did not heal after the old man fight. Uh-oh. 
I thought when I went to a hideout, he healed me. What the hell? Okay, this might be a little more problematic. I mean, how the hell was I supposed to know that I was going to get into a battle with a deity? Cage trap. Oh, there's the praying. I feel a little safer now. There's something here. The blessing from the Jesus statue? Well, no point in leaving it. A snare. Oh. Nice. Well, this is good. I just gotta make sure I don't mess this up. Yeah, I mean, I could try and pop the rabbit, but I'm not going to. Can I melee the rabbit? <laughs> the answer is no. Oh, it's okay. Cage trap. Stop! Battle music. Cage trap. Cage <laughs> trap. I feel like I have food to survive, so... I'm trying not <laughs> to keep rolling over it. Leg hole trap. Uh, the place is stamina. I should probably not do that. Alright, let's go. Come here. <laughs> Trying to melee the rabbit. I think I need to get ahead of it and just go. I can do this, I can do this. I can't shoot it, it'll cause it to explode. Oh, 
whatever this is, I hope I'm ready for it. Did he use dynamite or something to blow up the boulders? No room, he must have gone further than this. Yeah, look, let's just... There he is. Huh? Well, if it isn't the guy whose face will be nowhere. You sure you should be using dynamite on someone else's mountain? That's the problem. I'm gonna get rid of their dangerous giant bear for them. They should be grateful. They ain't never agreed to this, and for a young pup, you sure are cocky about Yama Oroshi. Huh? Oh, and you being grizzled and grey makes you tough, huh? I'll have you know I'm confident because I'm a master hunter. The brute doesn't stand a chance. Why are you after Yama Oroshi anyway? <laughs> ah, for the money and fame, obviously. I mean, I guess there's the thrill of the hunt, too. The real? Heck yeah. Chasing your quarry down, outsmarting it, watching it drop. Knowing you've won nature's most primal contest. There's nothing like it. Killing's a fun hobby for you. What's with the look? They're animals. It's not like they're I'm killing people. Anyway, aren't you out here doing the same thing? Good luck trying to beat me. The man's trouble, but it ain't my place to stop him. Better just tell Okudera Han what's happening on the mountain. Okay, I mean... Good. Alright. What are we gonna do, Okudarahan? I don't know. We'll just have to keep an eye on the situation for now and deal with it when the time comes. You know, from what I've heard, hunting is one-sided slaughter. That's not inaccurate. I wish it could be more fair. But that doesn't apply to Yama Oroshi. He could kill a man as easily as we might kill any game. So he'd be a fair fight then. Enough talk, I'm going to sleep. Alright. All snow gear must be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Is it going to heal me? Didn't heal me. <laughs> okay. Um, I said when I'm in a hideout, it should heal. Unless it's just a passive slow heal. Oh, let me let me watch it for a minute. Um Oh wow, I'm at maximum body now. Let me just wait a minute. Is the health going up? I can't tell. Alright, hang on. No. What the hell? How do I do this? Or maybe I just misread it. Oh. Dude, I can sell these. <laughs> I forgot I had these. I think I, my money troubles are actually over.
Zeit, mal san. Something the matter? And it's Okadera san. He has a really high fever. Sakurai san is with him now, but. Okadera han's sick? We think it's his injury from Yama Oroshi might be infected. You should go see him. You never know what could happen. Yeah, I understand. I, but first, I'm going to sell. Nah, I'm gonna sell. Uh, I need to sell. Oh wait, I can't sell the plate, really? I guess not here. Um... I thought for sure I'd be able to sell. Okay, sell the pelts. Rather large health boost. Wood. And something. False mackerel. Um. Huh. Yeah, that sucks that I can't sell the plates. My heal items are very, very limited. How's Okadera Han any better? Sadly, no. I found him like this when I came to discuss Narumi. It's the wound from his fight from... Yama Oroshi. It's like, it's almost like nobody stepped in to save him. Pretty bad? Yeah. He pushes himself too hard for his age. Always wants to be the tough old man. So what do you want to do? Can't you call an ambulance? No! Okay. You okay there? Sorry, but no, that won't work. In this weather, not even the helicopter could fly in, let alone an ambulance. We're just too remote. So what can we do? In the old days, drinking bear bile was the cure-all for this sort of thing. And it actually did work. And now you don't have any? No. Simple, then. I'll go get some. I thought you might say that, but you have to realize this is a bear. It's not like hunting deer and rabbits. If you kill, be ready to be to get killed. That's what Okadarahan always says. I own. Um, and I don't want Nishina to have to go out hunting right now. So I'll go. The best thing. For everyone. Ah. <sighs> Alright. I'm just sorry that all the dangerous work seems to fall on you. Don't let it bother you. It's my decision. Well, just tell me when you're ready to go. I'll have Okadarahan's gun and supplies ready. Will do. Thanks. Okay, well. Is there really no way for me to heal? <laughs> Check status. I'm going to save. No, not leave. Ah, oh, damn it, this is exit. I wonder if when stuff is in the item box it'll let me sell.
hate this save screen so much. Okay. Let me just see if this works. If it was just a case of my item not being in the item box. Nope, so they just don't accept Okay, they don't they don't accept it. Alright, I guess we head out. They don't really have much of a choice here. <laughs> Go hunt a bear. Check status. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really do much. Alright, go hunt a bear. Uh, Alright, alright, I guess we're doing this. It's time I explain the most important thing of all, hunting bears. I'm all ears. Hunters usually aim for the bear's heart, but that's pretty difficult for rookies. That's why I think you should just aim for the head! Yeah, yeah. If you manage to shoot it there, you'll drop it in one shot. Shot to the head. Okay. That's right. And make it count. A wounded bear is a demon incarnate. Got it. Message received. Another thing. Bears tend to roam around further up the mountain. The best thing to do is just look for their tracks and follow those. Always be careful when you're tracking a bear. You don't want to see you. If it does, see you and attacks. Whatever you do, don't try to run. What? You heard me. A bear runs faster than any man. It'll catch you in no time, and then it's all over for you. Instead of running, your best chance is to stay calm, stand your ground, and keep dodging its attack until it wears itself out. If the bear is watching you closely enough, it'll see where you point your gun and dodge your shots. On the other hand, when it's charging, it's not in defense mode. That's when you make your move. When a bear is charging, aim between the eyes, you'll drop it dead in its track with one shot. Easier said than done, of course. It all sounds like it. But we're still counting on you. Here, take this. It can distract bears. Bear bait. Be careful out there. Don't do anything reckless. <sighs> Alright. Well. Look at Dara Han's fever is worrying. Gotta hurry up and take down a bear. First, gotta find some tracks. I mean... It looks like every time. Yeah, it has the mushroom in this spot and then it has the parsley in this spot. So, I guess that's something I can rely on. I'm not going to shoot that, it's fine. The music's so dramatic. <laughs> what?! <laughs> that missed! Okay, well... I tried. I know it's trying to lead me up the mountain. I should check my traps as well. Doesn't look like I caught anything. Really? I haven't caught anything? Oh, looks like we got one. Uh, 
Okay. I'm gonna walk a cart. Fox, damn. Alright, set it off again. Accidentally put a snare. That's fine. I make this at Mono this time. More fox. Put the cage trap again. Yes. There we go, got a Marlin. Never heard of the animal, but door. Does this catch something? No. Okay, let's head up. Oh boy. Duh. Okay. Here we go. Can't let it see me. Gotta crouch low. This is what it's like to kill a bear. Hey. Gotta scoop up the bear bile and take it back to the village. Hey. What do you mean scoop up the bear? There it is. Got too much stuff. Um. Send back the bear bait. Find the cruise back to the village. Alright. Good haul. Bear bile. Sorry I took so long. You made it back. Somehow. And I got the bear bile. Incredible. Alright, let me fix it up. Why doesn't it just do that? Fever's broken, I think he's through the west of it. That's good. How was it? Taking on a bear? It was different from fighting Yama Oroshi. With that monster, I just felt pure adrenaline. Like I didn't even think about what I was fighting. This time, it wasn't like that. I had a gun, and I wasn't facing Yama Oroshi. So, I could think better. All that said, it was still terrifying. Now I know what it feels like to face something stronger than any man. 
And to be honest, it makes me understand Okaderahan even less than I did before. What's driving them? Keep after an enemy like that. Who knows? So, been meaning to ask, why are you on Okaderahan's side? Seems not many are. Heh, <laughs> if anything, I'm more alarmed by him than on his side. I worry about his total disregard for safety. Then again, maybe I envy him. You're envious? I understand why, you have to remember. This village is a tiny world unto itself. To survive here, you have to get along with others, no matter the cost. That means swallowing one's pride and stifling one's conscience for the sake of fitting in. Hmm. But Okadera doesn't do that. He doesn't care what others think. He doesn't even care about his own life. He's true to himself, and he's got the determination of an ox, so... I admire him for the having principles. Principles, huh? Yes. I have to go now. Uh, Narumi, was it? We'll have to keep an eye on him. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well I can go sell that pelt now. Do you have any idea what you've done? Do you even think about what this could do to us? Ah, <laughs> nah. Of course I did. I was thinking about what a favor I was doing for you all. Or did you want to keep living terrified of some bear? <laughs> It's not some bear, it's Yama Oroshi. See, that's what I'm talking about. You people have made this animal into some kind of god figure. Everyone, pipe down for a sec. What happened exactly? These country bumpkins, they don't want anyone to take real action to solve a problem, I guess. This brain jackass has been scattering bear bait all over the mountain. What? Why are you doing that? He's trying to lure out Yama Roshi. We'll all be in danger. Why? You think he'll come down here to the village? Not only that, all the other bears are going to smell the food too. They'll wake up from hibernation. And there'll be a crazed pack of wild dogs on the hunt. They're sure to bring their feeding frenzy to our village. Don't what? I'll kill the whole damn lot. All the bears I can shoot. This'll be the hunting trip of a lifetime. Asshole. Hey, Nishina-san. There was another bear sighting. Was it Yamaroshi? They couldn't tell. They took off right away, but they said it was huge. Okay. Someone needs to tell everyone to get inside. I'll do it. That's right, you people go home and cower in a corner. That'll keep you out of my way. Jerk. Is there anything else we can do? It's not too late to stop this. We can go pick up all the bait. But some bears are out and hungry already. We need all the men to stand guard. I'll go get the bait. You two stay with the others to protect the village. Nishina-san, we accept your help. I know eight spots on the mountain where an experienced hunter would put bait. I'll mark them on the map for you. Got it? Yeah. I'll get a pack ready for you at Okadera-san's. Meet me there. This is going to require a lot more time on the mountain compared to your last trip, so prep thoroughly. Alright? Got it. We're counting on you. Um, I'm gonna keep all my meat then. Hubris. So, I just sell it to him. Uh, modern meat, modern pelt, that's the one. Bear fat, bear bile, oh man. 
I mean, I'll sell some of this stuff. The fox mate is... Best skin, fox skin, look at this. The money I'm making. Um, hot repair kit is 10 grand. We'll buy one. What else is there? Yeah, I'll, I'll get one of these. Okay. Nah. With all the meat, that should be fine. I should probably keep the ointment for when... I actually fight outside of this. I'm gonna save again. I'm just worried I'm gonna pass up. Cover Narumi's bait. Oh, there it doesn't stack. That's annoying. All right. Whoa. I'm definitely not doing the one to supply the trader. He said a million yen wouldn't take long. It's going to take ages. There is absolutely no way I'm doing that. The roomie dropped bait in eight spots, supposedly. Just gotta gather them all, watch out for bears. I mean... At this point, consume the mushroom that I get every time. And the parsley. <clears throat> Why not? Okay, this is caught. Cool. Ooh! Damn, they ran. <laughs> oh, it's a rabbit, come on. Well, that's a start. Got the bait. But not a Martin. Yep, cool. Let's just put it back. Yes. Oh, it's a bear. Yes. Gotta be careful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful, 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 careful.
cool. Oh, it turned around. What is what is this walk cycle? Got it. Alright. Good. <laughs> well, I'm doing better than I thought I'd be doing. Hang on, I'm going up a weird path. Oh, got something. Okay, it's trap. Mm. <sighs> I'm gonna make good money today. Oishiku The hut. Wait, I brought I, I bought a hut repair because didn't oh, I didn't bring it like an idiot. Shit. Okay. Damn it, I bought it as well. Well done. Stop. I just want to interact. The amount of times I keep rolling instead of interacting. What's with the vibration? My controller is vibrating something fierce. <laughs> is there a bear nearby? Should I, be, should I be worried? Hey! I think that's three Martins now. Yes. Okay. Careful. We don't know what awaits here. Yeah, it's another bear. Oh, fuck. Okay, hide, 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 hide. I don't think it's seen me yet. Nope. Gotcha! <laughs> I faked it out.
I guess I can send stuff to the item box. That could have ended badly. Still fighting the bear. Nah, now you can run into other bears, the smaller ones. I've taken three bears out now. Right now there's some idiot in town who put bear bait everywhere. Because he wants to fight the big bear. Done well this trip. Okay, fox me, eat. Fox me, eat. Okay. I'm a better hunter. Hey, there we go. There's probably another bear around this corner. Yep, there it is. Right ahead. Or it might be Dio. That's Dio. It's fine. <laughs> I was worried for nothing. <laughs> got it. I think I got it. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> the body just instantly disappeared. Damn, this is draining my health pretty quickly. Um, eat the deer meat. I guess it's important to keep hunting, because otherwise I can't survive this. Keep going further in. The controller is vibrating. I Probably be concerned. Okay, stop. It's up ahead. I hear footsteps. Yeah. Oh, we're out of traps. Okay. I think I'm doing well. This should be all clear. One more. I'll eat one. Uh, yeah, I'll eat one. Significant heal. <laughs> the 
Okay, it's a rabbit. Just want to make sure there's no bear. Oh, what now? Gunfire. Was that Narumi? I have to stop him. Need to catch up. Even with this rough terrain. Where is he? He's like even further in than now. Toxic mushroom. No thanks. These must be Narumi's footprints. There he is. Found you, Narumi. Oh shit. It's Yama Roshi. Looks like Narumi got the fight he wanted. He missed. He got him. Not in the head though. So cartoonish. Narumi! Jeez. This is like a legendary Pokemon encounter. You damn monster! Forget being the hero. Gotta run before this teddy bear from hell turns me into stuffing. Good. Good. Good AI. Excellent AI. Am I being chased by two bears? It would appear the pursuit is, uh, two. I'm fine. I think. What am I doing? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Exit. I'm being greedy. Stop. Just go. Did I outrun that beast? Narumi's still back there. At least... Oh, Narumi's still back there, but at least all the baits picked up. Back to the village for now. Yeah, but, like, look at this. So, Narumi's hurt. Yeah. He's in trouble. Needs help. Hmm. Can't say I'm very motivated to help him. On the other hand, it sure would be a nuisance if he died on the mountain. Fine. I'll tell Nishina. You get some rest and... By the way, 
Thanks for all your efforts. Sure. Look at Durahan. A lot's happening out there while you've been sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time. Makes you quieter. I got stealth. Alright. I mean, these are all hunting things. I'm saving every time. Well, this has been fun. I don't know if I just cancelled the save there, but... Fine. Let's just go do... some selling. Oh wait, hang on. The pelt guy. Forgot about him. I'm begging for three Martins. Oh, don't I have three? Oh, I need to move. Oh, I need to move them. Hang on. I have four Martin meat, so I don't know if he wants just the meat and the pelts. Let's just see. Either way, I have three. All right, let's see. You're a lifesaver, I swear. Oh, here's your payment. Hand over the Martin pelts. Thank you, my family will eat better because of you. A deer meat? Thank you again. That's it? I got a deer meat for the pelts? That's a ripoff. I mean, I did get XP as well, but like, uh. Don't recognize this guy. Uh, excuse me, are you from this village? Uh, yeah. Yes, so. I beg your pardon. I just arrived from Tsukim... Su... Tsukimino. My father's place is in this village. And... What, you're looking for his house? Not exactly. I'm actually looking for a certain tree on this mountain. It's called the Ghost Pine. Ain't heard of it. I have a photo here. Do you recognize it? Definitely an odd shape for a tree. What's so special about it? When my father was a child, he buried a time capsule there. I want to dig it up, but I have no idea where that tree is. Plus, everyone here says it's too dangerous to go, to even go on the mountain. Don't your father know where it is? He passed away recently. That's why I came here to find the capsule. Sorry for your loss. Yeah. That's fine, we weren't close. I've hardly thought of him in the 30 years since I left this village. But when I heard he died, I suddenly thought of that time capsule. I felt the urge to find it and take it to his grave. I know it's just for my own satisfaction, haha, <laughs> but... The death makes you think, huh, kid? Hey. Hey, lend me the photo. Huh? Um, why? Because I want to help you. I still hide on the mountain, despite the dangers. Might spot your tree while I'm up there. You're going to look for it? I'll keep an eye out. Just don't expect too much. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Okay. Uh. Toxic mushrooms only worth eight. Bad balls worth ten thousand, so that's. Keep one bear meat. I'll sell the bear fat.
But I can only sell one? Oh no, because, it, yeah, I, I know why. Sell the bear hides, because it's not really gonna... I can't believe I didn't bring the hut repair kit with me, I'm an idiot. Let me talk to the old man, see if maybe he tells you what what we need to offer this. The gods of the Mount of Favor offerings that are handmade, for it shows dedication. Handmade? Oh, I know what this is now. Yeah, so talk to the guy before you place anything. We need to get the... Hang on. That and that. And then what? Just... <laughs> That's so dumb. I just... There you go. Instant. The question is, am I ready for this? He messed me up last time. Alright, I guess I'm gonna do this. Nah! Hold on, old man. Here we go again. Ah, it is you, the one who seeks power. Is that you, Todoroki? No, I am his elder brother. Ikazuchi. Ikazuchi? So, Todoroki has a brother? The clan of the mountain god watches over this mountain. There's a whole family of you guys? Correct. Now then. That you endured Todoroki's ordeal shows you are quite promising for a mortal. But the ordeal I shall put you through is far more terrible than my brother's. Never said I accept, but it don't look like I got much of a choice. Enough talk! Brace yourself for the trial draws nigh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Oh, crap. Okay. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> God! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, sh oh shit, I'm fucked. Hey, I can't heal. I can't heal. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm worried about this. I can't stop this. What bullshit is this? I can't... I can't stop that. Or do I have to block? Maybe I just have to block. Hang on. Maybe blocking is the key. Or maybe it's just a case of... Oh God. Okay, block. Is this teaching me just to block? I think this is just teaching me to block. It's like a super block. This guy's so annoying! <laughs> Get out of here. I mean, that's cool if it's building up heat just because I block. I love how Kiryu's a taxi driver in this story and Saijima's just going on like this wild spiritual journey. <laughs> D 
dealing with deities, gigantic bears, like what the fuck? Okay, old man. Did I lose consciousness again? Yeah. This time, Todoroki's big brother, Ikazuchi, stopped by. Todoroki and Ikazuchi. Both gods are told of in ancient tales of this mountain. Yeah. I guess I made the acquaintance of a couple of pretty important guys, huh? That you did. But tell me, what did the gods bestow upon you this time? Hmm, let me see, uh... Tiger Roar. Listen to the words of the mountain gods and you might draw closer to a greater truth. You're on your way towards achieving a greater connection with the mountain gods. One I have only dreamed of. You must continue. You got it, old man. The, what's the next one? Sacrifices. Meat. Damn it. Sacrifice. I'm not sure what that one would be. It's probably an item I can just buy. Let's see. Sacrifice. What would represent sacrifice? Provisions, rations, wood... Bait. Oh, no, nothing really here. Stream sacrifice. Alright, let's just leave it for now. It's. I think it's worthwhile to pursue. Like, it seems to be teaching me very useful abilities. As much of a pain in the ass the fight is, <laughs> it's working. Wait a minute. How do you progress now? Gotta tell Okadera Han once I'm ready. But he's asleep. Let's go outside for a minute. He's recovering. Hmm. You want something? You're leaving the village? Well, yes, I'm leaving for Tsukimino. I don't want to be stuck here forever. That's so. You know, it ain't, it's bad for the village to be losing so many young people. I know that, but I'm so sick of this place. I can't stand how boring it is. Masao. You're Saijima-san, aren't you? Aren't you from some big city yourself? Which one? What's the use of knowing that? Because, like, you get why I want to leave, right? You know how cool the big city is? My dad wouldn't listen to anything I said about it. Every time I brought it up, he'd just smack me and say something... So, say becoming a hunter was my only choice. That's why I'm running away. Running away? Hi. My husband doesn't know that Masao is leaving. He would never allow it. You realize your pal... your pa's gonna blow up. <laughs> Damn it. Your pa's gonna blow his stack when he finds out. What, are you trying to stop me? Nah. This ain't the sort of thing for strangers to meddle in. Agreed. Well, it's now or never. I need to be gone before Dad gets back. Remember, you can always come home. I'll be okay, Mom. I'm 18 now. Have a little faith in me. Bye. <sighs> My son. 
I hope the kid does alright for himself. I guess we'll meet up with him later, huh? Oh. Thought it was up here. My father said he'd be... Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Here we go. Wow, you're up and about already? I feel fine. Thank you for getting the date. It was a dangerous job. Not a big deal. <laughs> if you say so. We were just talking about Narumi. You ain't back yet? No. Based on what you told us. I guess he's too wounded to move. Then I gotta go get him. Why? If you asked me, Narumi's body would make decent bear food. Much better than that bait of his that nearly got us all killed. Sakurai Han, I understand why you hate the guy. He almost destroyed your village. But don't go condemning him to die. Evil ain't the way to respond to evil. At least it shouldn't be. But I'm going. And to be frank, I don't need your approval. I'll do what I want. You're something else, Saijima-san. <laughs> I don't expect anything, but if you could make me one last pack, I'd sure be grateful. I'll do it, but for you, not him. I'll be at Okadera's. Thanks. Alright. Wait. This way. I feel like I gotta follow through with this. I thought for sure this bear would tap me <laughs> once at least. But it's been alright. Oh, no, I am restoring. Look. No. I just saw it. That's kind of an annoying system. Like, while I'm in this menu, it res- <laughs> It's the midnight brain, just... <laughs> yeah, okay, it's res- That- Why doesn't it just replenish my health completely? Like, I really have to sit here and idle? Yeah. Well, let's wait like, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds? I'll wait until it's two thirds at least. Because just the weather, it will eat my health pretty quickly otherwise. Okay, well. I knew you would recover, I just thought it was more of an instantaneous thing, like when you save, it gives you all your health back, but it's... Ah, it's like this, unfortunately. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's awkward. I mean, I may as well let it go all the way. <laughs> These games are usually pretty good with things. Like, every now and then they might have one clunky aspect to it.
Okay. There we go. I'm gonna save it again. I know, I know. There we go. Okay, let's head out. Search for Narumi. Like, I think leaving the city with Baba will end this section, so... Like, I'm sure I could do it. There we go. Heart, bring the heart repair kit and bring all this stuff. That's what happened. I got moved to my inventory. Okay, now I have the hot repair kit. Where's Narumi? Just go to that spot where I saw Yama Orochi. Alright. We got eggs and pancakes already. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am too. I don't know what to expect. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, wait. There we go. We're fine. <laughs> Just didn't panic. Scoped immediately and waited for the steady aim. Now I actually have the repair kit. Yeah, now there's bears everywhere. There were no bears before. Suppose I should stop running haphazardly. It's just a rabbit. Feather the heart. There we go. Good. That ought to do it. Alright, hut is repaired. I want to check my traps. I mean, it's cool that there's a bunch of jobs in this one. Get to be a taxi driver, get to be a hunter, a street racer. Blood. Could be no roomies. Hang on. Let me just... I think I have one more cage trap on me. Mm. 
There we go. Small creature, what about over here? Just want to make sure I'm not like, yep, there's a bear. Stay calm, stay calm. Oh shit. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait for it to charge, wait for it to charge, wait for it to charge, wait for it to charge. Uh oh. Okay, get. Dude, get, get up, get up. Hey, it's not dodging. There we go. Well, this is the first time I've fucked up. There we go. <laughs> That's fine. Could have gone better. That tree. Is that the ghost pine? That's it. Should be a time capsule buried at its foot. Did I lose track of the tree? I hate it when the game does that. The camera rotates and then I lose my bearings. It's here. I got it. Alright, let's get digging. Found the little bugger. Ugh, didn't know frozen ground was so tough to dig in. That fella in the village is lucky they didn't have to do this. Okay, we need to eat again. Every PS2 game ever. PS1 even more. Yep. <laughs> Charging at me? I don't know. Well, did. It's fine. Just leave it. Where is he? I've gone way too far. Oh, okay. 
I may have bricked this. I don't like that you can't... Yeah. It's a blessing. Okay, trap. Alright, well... Yeah, this is not good. Alright, um... Consume... I guess I lost track of the footprints. Let's see, there are footprints here and they lead this way. What's the deal? Oh no, here we go, blood. Okay, let's just follow this track. Okay, it ends here. Oh, there he is. Narumi! You again? So you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe they look like this after just one hit? What the hell is that creature? We warned ya. Yama Roshi ain't no joke. Just surviving him means you probably part cat with nine lives and all. <laughs> and I've used up most of my nine lives, I think. Might actually start listening to you now. You serious? Yeah, you saved my life. If you hadn't shouted while I was ma well, it was mauling me, I'd be dead. Honestly, I... I start shaking if I think about it. Look, we ain't got time to talk right now. Can you walk? Ugh, I didn't think so, but maybe. You got to. Bear's out here, thanks to you. Let's go. Oh, I have to walk him back. Shit. Pray. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. Ooh, man, I am low as well. This is the long way down, we need the shortest way. What? What's the shortest way? But by being indecisive here, man, with like... Mate. Oh no. It's oh, annoying. It's <laughs> <That's> annoying. <laughs> Gotta do this slowly. This is an escort mission. Ugh. Okay, we have to get meat. Did that work? It did not. Oh, good. Yeah, shoot the wall. Well done. Award-winning gameplay. Okay, um, we need to eat, otherwise we are going to die. I was just trying to get us more food, man. I'm gonna have to fight a bear, aren't I? Ah, hurry up! <laughs> oh, this is annoying. I hate these kind of missions. It just slows you down so much. There's more meat now. 
We'll replant it. Dude's dying and I'm just setting up a trap. It's fine. I'm doing this just in case. He's bleeding out. Taking our sweet ass time. <laughs> There's no stakes here, his health. I just need to rest a little. Alright, there. You know what? What? I heard about an old man in the village. He's been after that monster for years, apparently. Yeah, that's a Durahan. How does he keep going against the force of nature like that? For the money? Bragging rights? Where does he find the will to keep chasing that thing? That's something I'd love to know myself. But it sure ain't money or bragging rights. The man's not moved by that kind of thing. Don't think anyone could keep up their motivation that way, actually. I'm still here because I want to know what inspires these folk. Ah. Hey, we can't dawdle here much longer. Can you manage now? Yeah. Don't mind me just setting up a trap. I need to get rid of these traps, so yeah. Mode. <laughs> We're fine. Good on your Hindi. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what do you mean, God Sep dickhead? You're right next to me. Just... Okay, I'm, like, dying now, so let's just eat something before I feel over. Okay, it's fine. You're doing good. Almost there. I'm... saved. Gave you first aid, but you need to go to a hospital in Tsukimino as soon as possible. The road there is actually open now. You're lucky beyond words. Sakura, can you call him a taxi? Yes, I can. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute! <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait just a fucking minute. Before, we were like, call them an ambulance. And he was like, no, we're too remote. An ambulance can't reach you. A taxi can? What do you mean? You truly are, they'll never come back here. That's all the apology we need. <laughs> I wouldn't come back here even if you begged yeah. me. 
Yashina san, the taxi will be here soon. <laughs> oh, okay. Helicopter can't reach here, but a. Or an ambulance. Taxi, space age taxi. Give this to that whole guy for me, will you? Vertical double special? What's this? It shoots transmitters. Shoot your courier with one, and you can track its position. I thought I could track that monster, but it won't, I won't have a chance now. It probably won't work if you shoot it into the beast's back or legs. Heck, when I tried, it looked like my shots were bouncing right off it. I think it'll work if you shoot it into its soft underbelly. Nice idea. I'll try it. We should get going. This injury. I'll never be able to carry a gun again. What am I supposed to live for now? You'll have to find something. You're lucky you still have that opportunity. Maybe you ought to keep that in mind. Huh. All snow gear must be moved. Yeah, okay. Like every time. Let me do some selling. Oh yeah, right. We did this. Sorry I kept you waiting. Here's your father's capsule. You actually found it! Wow! Wonder what your dad put in there as a kid. Let's see. This should be interesting. It's a tin of candy. A round rock. Lots of bottle caps and... A little tin figurine. Huh. <laughs> Maybe not that interesting, but... They must have been real treasures to your dad when he was a boy. Take him to his grave. His spirit will get a kick out of them. Yeah, why not? Thank you. So much, really. Maybe I'll finally get some closure with my dad. Glad I could help you. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Lighter oil? That's probably something for the, uh, the mountain god. Okay. This is annoying. But I get how it works. I need to move a mod and pulse my inventory, otherwise it doesn't count. I mean, I'm at 200k, like, I've made quite a bit of money off them. One sec. Oh. Uh. Okadarahan? Ah. Uh. You okay? How you feeling? Ugh, like an avalanche came down on me. Real good to see you awake, though. Huh, <laughs> even under an avalanche. Yeah, I'll be popping my head through the snow soon enough. Hey, good news, Narumi went home. There's even better news, Okadarahan's awake. What? That's great. Cause you all a lot of bub, I no. apologize. It's okay, I'll go tell the others you're awake. Just wait till you hear everything that's happened. Tell them, Saijima. Sure. What a tale. Narumi's pardon gift was some special bullets. They got built-in transmitters and all. So, even though Yama Oroshi ain't gonna die from no bullet, if I can shoot one of these suckers into his belly, at least we'll know where he is. That could work. Yeah. I figure it's something I can do while I'm waiting for you to recover. Cause I ain't... I sure ain't gonna take on the bastard myself. Once you're all healed up, we'll follow the signal. Together. We'll take him down, you and me, Okadarahan. So heal quick. I'm kind of invested in this side plot. Thank you, Saijima. I've been waiting a long time for this. I mean, it, it appears like it's heading towards a conclusion. This dude's just been patiently sitting on the floor waiting for me to be ready to go. Um...
Alright, so if I grab one Martin Pelt, that should do it. Yep, it's Martin Pelt. Thank you. This is a huge boon for my business. Okay. I could have done this one sooner. But... Just this whole system of having to put things in your inventory, and there being a different inventory from your uh, item box, I don't know. That's clunky, but that's fine. Hey, Lich Lord. Uh, I'm doing alright. I'm just kind of wrapping up. <laughs> I've been playing this for four hours now, and it's late here. So I'm just gonna save. But I've been alright. It's, it's 1.30 in the morning here, so I got work tomorrow. That saved, right? Just, I hate this save screen so much. Saved, and then it does it again for some reason. <laughs> saved. Okay. That'll... I'll do it. As much as I want to continue and finish this, I do have work tomorrow. Tomorrow is my last day of work for the year, so... I need to make sure I get through it. Okay. But, I am invested in this side quest. I might look up, like, um... What other stuff I need to offer to the Mountain God. It said Sacrifice, so I'm not sure... What item... I mean, this is clearly gonna be something for the Mountain God. Hang on. Big City Dreaming. This is pretty cool. I, I kind of like it. Like, just this whole thing that Kira is a, a taxi driver. I'm curious as to what the other characters are going to be. Alright. But yeah, I might look up like what we need to offer the Mountain God to get the other fighting thingies. Unless... Some of the other side quests might give me an item where it's like obvious that means sacrifice, so we'll see how it goes. We'll continue this tomorrow. Alright, well, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. It was a bit of a longer one today, but I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, if you want to support the channel, easiest way to do so, just click that like button. Thanks to those that do do that, I do appreciate it. It helps out a lot. Or if you want to watch me play something else in the meantime, just click one of the videos that may have popped up on your screen, assuming I remember to do that. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube.